I feel so it's a bit colder this morning. Oh yeah, 12 degrees it's cold. Just taking a bit of gel so I bet you here. Yeah, the show is positive. Spot well, it's taking taken that off. Taking the insulator off from the negative negative plate and there's a current getter, it's just a nail. I'm thinking. Try and get this in and shoot off like a rocket. Fire that replaced with an ordinary nail of roughly the same size. A longer one rotted to some um, steel plate to my uh, welder. And put a slight contact contact right here. As it pressurizes, it should shoot up like a rocket. It uh, may weld itself to the air to housing and pop there. I want to try and uh, see if I can get this thing to shoot off like a rocket best as I can. Yeah. Very well sealed, so. Hmm. Failing that, I've got to make a proper HV, high voltage into like a chamber and pop it with that. Yeah. I was going to use that microwave as the uh, chamber to pop these in, but it's uh, all metal. I could short something out and, yeah, not, it won't get all that energy in that. I'll short it out in the case of the microwave. I'll then um, make a proper high voltage insulated chamber for that purpose. There's two pins that come in through the roof, uh, roof for the walls of the chamber. That'll go like that. And my connections are on the outside of that chamber. I just uh, have this all contained. I probably can't use wood as a chamber because wood will get moisture and it will short after it even blowing the wood up so um hmm need some cement sheeting or something mica or something similar which uh haven't really got any after some I get a hold of that sort of stuff to uh, make a chamber like that okay viewers so this is the um Nippon Denzo 30 amp out in that out of me uh little diazio motor that's a handy van had the external regulator on it this one that's the original regulator off it yeah, this sat metal wasn't very good for the, these types of batteries. It's only meant for lawnmower mile batteries. Besides, I've got to put new brushes in it because these are badly worn. There's not much left there. I want to turn this into a little BLDC motor. So I've got to do sort of this uh, diode pack. There. I've got a fair idea how it's wired. I think you're going to put those two together as one. Those two together was one, and those two together was one. And that's your three uh, poles. Now, I want to try using the three-phase Fisher and Parker motor. See if that generates the correct uh, waveform to drive that out in there. Three-phase output of that should provide pulses. It's a square wave, by the way, that thing. In these three coils. And I excite this. I wonder if that Fisher and Parker ge uh, generator motor will uh, be adequate to run this little layout in there to give me the um, correct field or pulse to drive this uh, coil. Yeah, because I made one of these ages ago before I started doing YouTube videos out of a Commodore at At the time I didn't know about this uh, correct drive circuit. I just put power there, there and there. And it just, yeah, didn't work on the road. I just got hot and burnt the wires, so that was not a very good way of doing it. This thing I'm going to use that Fisher Parker motor to drive it because I haven't, got a, I haven't got a drive circuit made for this. While well, it heats up, that's a my pretty beefy soldering line, so I'll just desolder all these off. Hopefully I've got a spare set of brushes with this somewhere. Eh, I think there'll still be enough left in them. Not much there. Inter interesting diode arrangement. One diode there, diode there, and diode there. I'll see if I can um keep these retain this diode rectifier. See if I can rectify this uh, rear end mop with it. If I hook it up correctly, get a proper full wave rectifier for that. Anyway, let's see if this works. I got a good rectifier out of that. There you go, positive, 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 negative, negative, negative. Whichever one's which, and I'll uh, use that to rectify my mop. The outputs are one of these gold, uh, I think one of these is the outputs. Battery charge out, and that going to earth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it went. Now I'll be uh, all separately bolted away. That'll be my exciter. So that one and that one. That one just goes to earth. Might be using that one. I think you've got to hook tie those together, I think. And that's one side of the coil. The other side of the coil for one pole. So I'll tie those together and wire those up. And get the rest of it out and that all cleaned up before I even uh, put it back together because it is filthy. Okay, so positive in here, negative there, 
negative, positive, negative, positive. So I had six leads on this thing. Three reds and three blacks. Hmm, okay, I might sound work something out there. Yeah, it may still work on a fish pocket pocket anyway, I think. Might have a way to do it. Okay, viewers, I've got a, three sets of poles done. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive and negative. Whichever way you want to do it. That'd be about right. So now I've got to back it back together and try and find a way of pulsing this thing. Yeah, the generator should work. I'll probably put that to the neutral side of the uh, fish and pocket or generator. Or well, those three. And the three phases. These were connected to three phases of the uh, FMP generator. It's going to pour a lot of power because um, it's quite thick winding, so I'm going to have to find a way of turning this thing. So it's going to be pretty hard to turn under a load like this. And this, uh, interesting how these are, and that is uh, these Nip and Denzo ones got a nice cigar stainless steel slip wings. Yeah, they are too. Stainless steel slip wings, interesting. Give that a bit of a clean out, put some silicon spray in there. Never had seals on them for some reason. This thing's got an, uh, a felt pad to keep it lubricated, so I've re-lubricated that. Wires that come out those three holes. Just got to find a way to secure the uh, brushes. Because now that the, uh, that's not there, it's not a uh, fitting straight. I think there's still some, yeah, that was still good contact. This was still working, so I'll try and see if I can find a uh, set of brushes. Yeah, they're just touching, but not much, so it may still work. Okay, all well, neutrals tied off to neutral. Each phase goes into the app, and there's uh, coil, coils there. And it's, I do get a little bit of um, response on this shaft, so I really get the slightest twitch on that shaft when I turn this thing by hand, so it must be working to some degree. This shit all talk, but uh, we're getting something out of it. Put this, reconnect this third phase here, I haven't got an alligator clip in this wire. Just gonna make do, re excited again. turn it fast enough. You can kind of see the shaft there twitching backwards and forwards as I'm turning it. I don't know if that's in the front of the camera or not. But I can feel the shaft moving a bit. It is working. You can just see the twitching there. It must be hooked up or what? Yeah. This is an AC output. I'm gonna make that. I think I've got to rectify this uh, thing here, so it's DC. I need a three phase rectifier for this, so it's pushing it one way, not twitching it backwards and forwards in AC. That's what it's doing. So, I need to rectify this generator. Hmm. I wonder what I could use. I'm building a, I need a pretty tough driver to excite those coils and pulse them. They're pretty power hungry, those coils. They're your main charge coils. They're 12 volts at 30 amps. This thing's right at that. So, we're getting there. I think that tires me have wired it up correctly at least, so the outnader part of it's done. I just got to find a proper powerful driver for this thing. It's a bit noisy. Bearings have been lubricated with some silicon spray. I cleaned them out, got all the gunk out of them. I haven't got any spares, so it's going to have to do. Anyway, I've gotten somewhere with this. All I need now is a proper drive circuit. I'm just using this uh, UPS transformer to give enough beef to energise this uh, bloody, um, the uh, stator coil here, the um, armature coil, I mean. So the uh, brushes are making good contact. Actually, yeah, make the fight with this. Try and hook that to the FMP generator. There you go. Three phase rectifier right there. Yeah, three phase in, positive and negative, one phase out. Just realise that, yeah, that won't work. I need three, three apart. I need one positive for each and a negative for each. So, I could just get three diodes on here. See what that does. Just use single diodes halfway, but it should work. 
Hmm. Very, very crudely half way rectifying. Not a very efficient way of doing it. I'm getting a bit of a pulse, but it's only uh, so much low power, it's not funny. And I feel a bit of twitching on the shaft, but there was more when it was on AC, yeah. Half way rectifying is not a very good way of doing this. Anyway, at least I've gotten some over this. That'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.